Hello guys welcome back to our anime shorts. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Perfect World based on novel. So let's start. Shahal rushed through dry land, like an indistinct void streak. He crossed great mountains one after another in search of an enormous city. Only places like these had altars that could send him to a different place. The wasteland region was too large. If he relied on running himself, finally, Shahal discovered an enormous city on the northern continent and almost found an altar. He stepped on top, and without any hesitation, a golden passageway was opened up and he escaped, he got away from us again. Yang Li's face was downcast. After chasing him for such a long time, they still didn't intercept him. For them, this was a bit of a shameful thing. The golden skeleton that came from Underworld Earth got onto the altar and carefully looked it over. He deduced the location of the place where Shahal fled to. We have to hurry and catch him to prevent others from getting their hands on him, said the pangolin. Shahal seemed to be burning. His speed was fast to the extreme. He used the 72 transformations to turn into a Kuan Peng, and then he had the help of the Earth withdrawal symbol as well. He disappeared into the horizon in the blink of an eye. His current speed was faster than the three deities. However, the three deities' spiritual senses were sharp and had long locked onto him. His aura would still be sensed by them in the end, so as long as he hesitated for a moment to catch his breath, they would immediately catch up. If this continued, he would be completely exhausted sooner or later. I'm finally about to arrive. When there was still a bit of distance, Jahao stopped. He quickly adjusted his breath to recover his essence energy. During this short breather, he directly brought out a handful of sparkling demonic sunflower seeds, every single one of them sparkling and resplendent like pearls. They flowed with multicolored light. He threw them into his mouth and swallowed them together with blood. This type of sunflower seed possessed divine effects. He no longer coughed, and his injured body received nourishment. He continuously shone, and symbols fluctuated about his body. His essence energy was gradually becoming filled again. Since he was going to enter that place, he naturally had to adjust his body to its greatest state. Who dared to treat the demonic sunflower garden's seats as pill medicines? If news of this got out, it would immediately incur crazy retaliation. Shahal naturally backed off at the first moment, quickly fleeing. After chasing for such a long time, even though these three deities' expressions were indifferent, they long became discontent. In the end, the three deities could only depend on their patience and powerful divine senses to lock onto their target. Otherwise, they really would have lost him. Shahal wiped away the blood at the corners of his mouth. Several dozen Li passed in a flash, and with the spreads of his wings, another several hundred Li was gone. He arrived in an ancient place where mountains rose and fell, stretching as far as the eye could see. The mountain peaks here were quite special and shaped like mountains. Shahal didn't stop for a moment. He leapt into the air and directly rushed into the depths of this place. The three deities pursued relentlessly, immediately hurrying over like three void streaks. Crazy winds erupted around them, blasting apart the enormous trees along the way. One could see just how astonishing their speeds were, ye. The golden skeleton from Underworld Earth was astonished. Even though this place was filled with sunlight and yang energy, he could clearly feel a hint of yin energy that others normally couldn't detect. He wasn't that worried. This type of place was instead a divine treasure land for him. He was extremely hopeful and wanted to immediately rush in to nourish his skeleton. They rushed in ten li in the blink of an eye. The scenery in front of their eyes immediately changed in the blink of an eye, a black-colored true who appeared. It was enormous like a small mountain. It immediately shattered a meteorite, causing incomparably dazzling radiance to erupt and descend onto the great earth. Crazy winds stirred about. A great golden-winged peng spread its wings to soar into the skies, overlooking the world of mortals. It was like a cloud that covered the heavens. This type of aura made others terrified. The three deities were were shocked, suppressed as soon as they entered. They were all stupefied, feeling great fear inside. They were truly formidable, but the ones in front of them were all heavenly ranked vicious beasts and divine birds. These are, heavenly deities. They saw this kind of scene as soon as they entered, immediately leaving them horrified. A Daotai that was as tall as an archaic demonic mountain that devoured all living things passed by them. 
The great earth trembled and mountains swayed back and forth. Rumbling sounds continuously sounded. The three deities were so scared their souls began to tremble. The golden skeleton from underworld earth moved his pair of pure white wings. His words were grave as he said, they have already materialized, so we cannot be careless. Do not make contact with them, or else you might die. The other's expressions immediately changed. They carefully sensed their surroundings, and their faces couldn't help but become serious. At this moment, they felt as if their blood began to flow quicker, and a great excitement stir within them. This world that was starting to form most likely produced a supreme treasure. This was especially true for the golden skeleton from underworld earth. He was a deity from the underworld race, so cultivating here would save him effort and give him better results. The three individuals left behind a ruined figure, and with a tremble, their figures rushed inside. They avoided the half-materialized Daotai, winged dragon, phoenix sparrow, and other heavenly ranked archaic vicious beasts and divine birds with their powerful divine senses, ye, over there. The three of them rushed into the depths of this place. Not only did they see Shahao, they also saw an altar. This was a strange altar that was entirely black in color. It was built from an enormous rock, and countless bones could be seen scattered on the ground around it. There weren't any ordinary bones. These were all deity grade. However, the bone texts had already been erased and could no longer be displayed. Youngster, what are you trying to do? The three deities couldn't remain calm anymore, because they noticed that Shahao was aiming for the supreme treasures on the altar. He was actually going to make his move before them. Divine objects in this type of place had to be treated with great care. Otherwise, unforeseen accidents might happen. They naturally felt anxious. They could see Shahao feeling restraining fear, as if he was hesitating. He moved to the side of the altar, wanting to make his move, but also hesitating. He seemed extremely nervous. They are all treasures. The three deities were knowledgeable and experienced. When they saw the three items on the altar, they immediately knew that they contained unimaginable power. There was a golden arm bone, a sparkling skull, and a blood-stained eyeball. They laid on the altar while releasing a mysterious aura and strange energy. Fake deities that don't know the difference between life and death. Shahao sneered. He was scared that they wouldn't come, and now, there wasn't anything to be scared of. You are seeking death. You dare treat deities with disrespect. Yang Li and the pangolin's expressions became cold. Shut up. The underworld deity berated in a low voice. He didn't dare move or recklessly use divine force, or else he would have immediately eliminated Shahao to close his mouth. This wasn't a place to make a racket. He could feel a dignified and terrifying fluctuation. There might be an undying will within the items on the altar. Insect, close your mouth if you want to keep living. Yang Li's expression became sinister. His mind was in chaos. He was terrified, feeling an indescribable type of fear. At this moment, what the three deities felt was several tens of times greater than what Shahao felt back then. It was because they lit their divine flames and understood what type of dangerous situation they were in. Are you guys scared now? Shahal was extremely calm. He swept his eyes over the three of them and said, In this place, you all are the insects. Shahal raised a leg and heavily stepped downwards, shaking the entire altar, as if he was trying to make it collapse. Yang Li's fine hairs all stood on end, and he felt his scalp going numb. His feet were hardly touching the ground, and his body was taut from fear. The golden skeleton trembled so greatly that he seemed like he was about to break apart. He was also trying to flee with everything he had. However, it was completely useless. That I moved and had long locked onto everyone, just like how it locked onto Shahao not too long ago. We're finished. At this moment, the three experts were shivering in fear. They all knew that it would be useless even if they fled towards the ends of the earth, let alone the fact that they couldn't break free from this place. They would still be killed. The three deities' minds trembled. Their courage was faltering. A wave of despair surged within them. As expected, that thing came. It was majestic and terrifying. It was going to trap them here and hunt them down. Shahal watched everything with great shock. He only made a single motion, and that was to enter the bronze precious case. He held the ten thousand spirit diagram, and left everything else to the will of heaven. 
he could only silently wait for the result. This was the most powerless decision. How could he hand his own fate to others? However, Shahal was at the end of the rope and truly didn't have any other way. As long as he still had the slightest choice, he wouldn't have came here. This was the same as meeting death. Shahal held the 10,000 spirit diagram with a calm expression, waiting just like that. If death came, then so be it. He would fall together with the three great experts. The most crucial part was that the golden arm bone was without any fluctuations or symbols. It relied purely on its physical strength and sturdiness to slap the pangolin that was known for its defensive strength into mush. No. The skeleton from Underworld Earth cried out loudly. His wings flapped with great speed, truly wishing to rush into the nine heavens and leave this realm. However, this was all useless. The golden bone palm casually swatted out, and his pair of divine wings exploded on the spot. Underworld Earth skeleton's skull and the small part of the pangolin's body that remained both cried out loudly. They also rushed inside of this furnace. The furnace cover was closed, and the three deities hid inside. Their faces were deathly pale, and their hearts were pounding. Their crippled bodies were trembling, a natural reaction produced by the utter fear they were experiencing. After they ignited their divine flames, their identities became astonishing. The golden hand bone slapped down, striking on that void furnace. A heaven-shaking noise rang through the skies, and the first strike alone made a large part of the cauldron sink in. It had pierced through, allowing light to seep inside. Everything in front of these three deities' eyes darkened. They powerlessly sat there while filled with fear. How were they supposed to defend against this? The void furnace was known to be undying, and not even deities could break through it, yet right now, it couldn't hold up much longer. Exactly what kind of strange thing was that altar to have that type of offering placed on it? It was just too abnormal. They began to feel despair. The void furnace was pried open like dried out orange peels and tossed aside. The three great experts fell, all of them falling weakly onto the ground, unable to put up any more defenses. However, the golden arm bone unexpectedly retreated, deciding not to kill them. The three individuals' eyes shone with brilliance. Hope to continue living appeared. They struggled up, but they quickly fell from heaven to hell. They were left completely disheartened. On the altar, a crystal skull flew over. Its eye sockets were deep. Its lower jaw opened, and then it fiercely sucked inwards. A vortex appeared in that area. Please, spare me. The underworld race deity howled loudly. The crystal skull didn't pay it any attention, and lightly inhaled. A large portion of the underworld clan's expert soul light was sucked in. Its foundational source immediately dimmed. Don't kill me, save me, let me go, Yang Li released a weak sound. He was also praying for a chance at survival. He was a genius and couldn't die like this in the lower realm. The pangolin released a weak miserable cry, struggling and begging for mercy. They couldn't change the conclusion at all. It was also like this, with all of its soul force practically wiped out. The three great experts were ruined. Even if they weren't attacked again, it would still be impossible for them to continue living. Their foundations had been scattered, falling down from heaven down into hell. They lost all of their honor and glory. Regardless of whether it was the golden arm bone or the crystal skull, they both stopped for a moment by the bronze precious case. Inside the small world, the 10,000 spirit diagram in Shahal's hands shone again. 10,000 spirits appeared and symbols covered this place. Chaotic energy pervaded the air, creating an extremely mysterious scene. It was unknown just how much time had passed. This place became peaceful again. Shahal's expression was complicated. He looked at the warm bone piece. This thing had once again allowed him to escape a disaster. He didn't die. I lived. Shahal said to himself. However, this type of feeling wasn't that good. This was gambling, handing his fate over to someone else. There was nothing he could do himself. Soon after, he tossed aside these emotions. He walked forward, lifting up the three withered up and ruined bodies before walking outwards breaking free from Western tomb world. Bullying and humiliating a country, just how overbearing and domineering were you all. Treating the creatures of the lower realm like ants. Yet look now, all of you are nothing more than bugs yourselves. 
Shahao shook his head. Then he stood up while carrying an ice-cold expression in his eyes. When these people came down, they carried out a worldwide blood sacrifice, creating an absolute tragedy. Too many people had died. This debt wouldn't be repaid even if they were killed. Shahao searched their sea of consciousness, but he found that it had long been damaged with less than a tenth remaining. However, that was still enough. He received a few extremely important pieces of information, then, one foot per person, three heads were kicked off, shattering in midair. Seven deities came into the lower realm. The most powerful one was an old servant from Immortal Hall. His individual strength was equal to the joint power of four experts with their divine flames lit. Immortal Hall was extremely ancient and terrifying and related to Supreme Hall. Unfortunately, there was less than a tenth of the three deities' consciousness remaining, so Shahao couldn't find out everything. The second strongest expert came from Western Sect, a deity with the Vajra unbreakable body he cultivated the Zhong Six Golden Body to an extremely high level, and he also grasped several great divine abilities. As for the remaining deities, their power levels were similar. Shahao said softly. How was he supposed to break out from this hopeless situation? His mind was heavy, feeling a type of ominous premonition. Could it be that something unexpected was going to happen to him? He left Western Beast Mountain and flew towards Stone Country Capital. This video will end here. Thank you.